So on my last physics test, the only problem that gave me a little bit of trouble was the problem over the Hall effect. And I made some minor errors, but my main error was at the end where I switched the direction of the electron and the proton and the alpha particle. But I'll go over the whole question and explain what I did and what I did wrong and how I will fix it. So the question is, a proton with speed V equals 20 kilometers per second enters a region that is H equals 10 centimeters wide. This region contains a uniform B equals 0.3 Tesla magnetic field directed into the page. So with the first question, please indicate which of the plates should be positive and which should be negative. So I know that velocity is to the right, magnetic field is into the page. So using the right hand rule, fingers point in the direction of the velocity, they curl in the direction of the magnetic field, and that means the magnetic force points upward, which is in the direction of your thumb. So, since the particle is a proton and it's forced upward by the magnetic force, the top plate becomes positively charged and the bottom plate becomes negatively charged. The next question is, what voltage must you punch into the voltage supply to ensure that the proton hits the center of the bullseye target on the opposite side? So if it hits the center of the bullseye target, that means it goes straight across without moving up or down, which means the net force inside the plates must equal zero. So since the magnetic force is up, and the electric force is down, that means they are equal to each other, so they cancel each other out. So I set Fe equal to F mag, the charges Q cancel each other out, so you're left with E perpendicular equals drift speed times magnetic field. Now, I know E perpendicular because the voltage in the perpendicular direction is negative electric field times the length, and the length is H and I'm solving for electric field as well as voltage. So right here, you said E perpendicular equal to negative delta V over H, which I plugged in over here. I substituted numbers in and I got delta V equals negative 600 volts, but then again, it should have been absolute value. So delta V equals 600 volts. The next part of the question was recalculate the required voltage from part A for an instant alpha particle, which is just a helium nu nucleus, so two protons and two neutrons, which means it's positively charged, and for an instant electron. So I figured that the voltage isn't going to change since it had nothing to do with charge. So both the part alpha particle and the proton, or the alpha particle and the electron, both equal. 600 volts, which it should be positive. But for the last question, which I got wrong, your voltage supply is faulty and generates a voltage which is slightly smaller than the amount shown on the supply's display. Under those conditions, sketch the trajectories of the proton, alpha particle, and electron in the figure below. Be sure to label which trajectory corresponds to which particle. So I already knew that the top plate is positively charged and the bottom plate is negatively charged. That doesn't change, but if the voltage supply is smaller, than is shown on the display, then that means the electric force is smaller, which means everything's going to move in the direction that the magnetic force is pushing it, since the two forces don't cancel each other out and the magnetic force is greater. So for the proton and the alpha particle, they should be moving upwards based on the right-hand rule again. So velocity is pointing to the right, magnetic field is still into the page, and the force is, magnetic force is still upward. But I obviously got confused and just put it in the direction of the electric force, which would be pointing toward the negative plate, when it should be in the direction of the magnetic force. And so you solve for the electron the same way. So if the particle is an electron and it's moving to the right, you flip it because there's a negative charge. So you say velocity points to the left, magnetic field still into the page, so the magnetic force is down. So it should move down towards the negative plate. But just a small error there and everything else is good.